Please welcome the lovely Charisma Carpenter. Very old. Thank you very much. You showered with me with some of the guests last time. That's right. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Thank you. You look great. Wow, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah. You. <laughs> no, definitely. You got, I, I like the look. Well, thank you very much. I aim to please. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> now, last time you were here, you uh, jammed with the band. Oh, yeah. Hi, girls. Yeah, that's right. She, you <laughs> take, well, we got a little clip of you doing oh, that thing. My God. Did, you get, did you get a lot of feedback on that? You know, when I went home for Christmas to my mom's house, my family was all there, and um, my parents... And uh, my brother, especially my brother, was making fun of me so bad because they all know that I had to learn rhythm when I was growing up. And <laughs> so to see me in a band with a tambourine, you know, because that's instrumental in keeping the rhythm, you know, is pretty humorous. Well, now, how do you learn rhythm? <laughs> I still don't get it. I still don't have it. <laughs> oh, you didn't learn it? No. Did you take, like, a rhythm class? I was just bluffing up there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really take a rhythm class? Well, you know what happened is, um, my dad and my mom would sit in the car with me, and they always play country music, and they'd tap the beat of the music on my knee in the car. <laughs> well, that explains it. If you, <laughs> if you try to get rhythm country music, eh? <laughs> they should have got you some Puff Daddy. Like, there you go, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, Usher, that's right, that's right. Everybody was so excited about Usher that I'm going to be on the show. Everybody from my show is saying, can you give me an autograph picture? So I'm excited to meet them. Okay, well, we'll make sure we get one for you. <laughs> okay. Now, but this is, now, I, you sitting in with the band is not the first time you <clears throat> were in a music group. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. Why do you say it like that? You're like, oh, what? <laughs> When I was younger, um, I grew up in Las Vegas, and when I was 13, we toured in a group called Inter the Young Entertainers, and we'd go around to the local travel lodges and lounges and entertain. <laughs> I am a promise. <laughs> I am a possibility. <laughs> well, it's good to know all those rhythm classes paid off for you, see? Now, that was your act. You used to go and sing... Well, no, because nobody would have me sing. So I, um... You poor thing. Really they true. wouldn't let you dance. They wouldn't let you sing. No, they, no, I could dance, like, if it was choreographed. And I would learn it. And I would, you know, practice for about six hours a day, four months at a time. And I would learn when to move to the music. But that was ballet or something. I would love to see you at a club. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, um, I have a friend of mine that always tells me that I dance like Elaine from um, Seinfeld. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a compliment. <laughs> uh -uh. But it's funny. When did you move here to LA? <laughs> the day of the riots. For real? Yeah. <laughs> Your first I've had day, a very eventful life. <laughs> absolutely. Every, you know, your know. first day here was the riots? The day of the riots, I moved here. The day I came, um, th there was all this outbreak and mayhem, and um, there was a curfew, and there was no food in, in the apartment. So I had to go to this store, and when I go out, go out of the apartment complex, I turn the corner, and there was, like, cars on fire, people running with shot, sawed-off shotguns and looting and... I was so scared, so I put the car in reverse, go back into the garage, eat canned soup. And See, you didn't realize you could have furnished your place. <laughs> you, you could have been shopping for a month. <laughs> that was the time right there. You... <laughs> but it's not good to steal. It's a no-no. Well, 
it's a no-no if everybody else ain't doing it. <laughs> it's like... Are you telling us to steal? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Keenan Ivory Wayne is telling no, us. No, I'm I'm just saying that you know. <laughs> if everybody that, else says it, it's okay. No, the <laughs> rules are there's no stealing is bad, but as we all know, there are exceptions to the rules. <laughs> let's say a crazy LA sale <laughs> why miss out 100% off that's right 100% off how you gonna beat that <laughs> see but that, that's she, you you're just too nice you're, you're just the, the nice girl that's all have you always been Miss Goody Two Shoes no <laughs> I'm not though at all I was always in trouble when I was a kid get out of here yeah I am um, What's I the was wor always What's the on restriction. My friends would always come over and say, well, I'm, I was always on restriction, especially on the weekends. And my friends would always say, can we come see you in Alcatraz this weekend? And I'm like, sure. <laughs> but um, I, I would steal. <laughs> I, would, I, I actually took my dad's Corvette out on, for a joyride one time. And, and my dad's car is his prized possession. Like, there's no joyriding in his car. And, but it wasn't my fault because... My cousin. <laughs> it wasn't your it wasn't fault. It wasn't my fault. I want to hear this. <laughs> well, what happened was I was ironing, actually, and my cousin came in and he found the keys to my um, dad's car. And they, my dad and mom had left to go to Mexico for the day. I lived in San Diego. And he comes in and he goes, look what I got. I go, ah, let's go. And, you know, it's his fault because he made me do it. <laughs> If he hadn't shown you the key, I wouldn't have taken still it. Been I would have been at home ironing and well, how, watching television. How'd you get busted? Well, he came home before I got home. <laughs> so, well, I was, um, it, it was very complicated because I was going up a hill when I was joyriding. And when I was going up the hill, I kind of hit a bump and I was like, oh my gosh. So we get out of the car, we look and there's no damage. And we're like, Phew. okay, we're out of that one. So then we come home and we take the long way. Let's take the long way home. So we go the long way and we're coming down the hill and here comes my dad going up the hill. And I was so scared and my cousin wanted to be one with the floorboard. He was so freaked out. <laughs> he was like, oh my God, because my dad never loses his temper. Never. Except for when he's really, really mad about his car. <laughs> so, so what happened? So I'm, get, I'm, I'm driving down the hill. He's come up the hill and I put the car in park too soon and the car was still moving and the transmission went... Argh! <laughs> I was on restriction what, for what? a really long time, and I ran out of the car. Mom, and she's like, I can't help you now. I love, <laughs> but I love this. You know what she said? I was on restriction for a really long time. <laughs> I would have been in traction for a really no, long time. I, I, I didn't want to say that. <laughs> you got a really nice dad. You rip up his transmission. No, no, my dad. You know they believe in capital punishment. <laughs> oh. Okay. I just didn't want to make it sound that bad. No, oh, okay. Protect <laughs> mom and dad. I hate. You. Now you uh, started out really young in your acting career, right? Don't you like? You know, I was talking to the lady on your show, and I remember that I did something a long time ago. Um, I took a acting class for like six weeks, but mm -hmm. that's it. I started acting actually most like. Three years ago. What did you do in this acting class? What acting class? When I was younger? Yeah. Like scenes from The Odd Couple. I was so happy because one time you let me throw like a whole pot of linguine against the wall. I'm like, oh, I like this aggression. Well, I want you to explain what this tape is that we have. <laughs> I, th I, think it, I think it could be from... Let's, let's look at her in her oh, early days. Oh, my gosh, then I discovered it wasn't coffee. He didn't like it. It was my coffee. Well, in order to make good coffee, you have to start with good coffee. So I tried Uban. Mmm, it's got a deeper, richer flavor, and it's made from sun ripened Colombian beans. Uban, coffee worth the second cup. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> it, was that you really at home wanting to be an actress oh and making God. up your own commercials? My mom is in so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely genius. Uh, you banned. Yeah, it was like. Placement? And you, had, you hadn't done anything before that, had you? No. 
Oh, you could tell you were, you were just destined to be Miss Product Salesman right there. That was genius. So now, how's things going on the show? Good. It's good. going really good. Yeah. Um, a lot of kissing scenes. <clears throat> a lot of rashes on the chin. Uh huh. What well, anything new coming for your character? Or? Yes, a lot of new stuff, but I can't talk about it. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. A lot um. of romance. Everybody falls in love and it goes really, really badly. So. That's all you can tell us. All right, well, next time you got to bring us some more dirt because that ain't good enough. <laughs> well, ask John. All right. All right, you That's got it. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for coming by. Thank Pleasure you. seeing you again. Here's the problem, Check out Buffy this Man by Slam Monday nights on WB. We'll be right back after this.